The DeLorean Time Machine, made famous and back to the future. It's made out of a 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. You probably already know that it's one of the most famous movie cars in the world. But let's talk a little bit about the car that it's made out of, the DeLorean. The DeLorean is made out of stainless steel. Now, for those of you that are watch lovers and collectors, you know that some of the greatest watches made out there are not made of gold and platinum, but of stainless steel, like this Rolex. Well, when the DeLorean Motor Company decided they wanted to team up with REC watches to create a unique collectible, they had a bright idea of making their watches out of the actual stainless steel used to make these DeLorean cars. But not just any DeLorean. They found John DeLorean's personal company car, VIN number 6882. Now, it had been abandoned, it had been hail damaged, it had been left out in the elements for years, and they found that it just wasn't worthy of restoration because of some of the damage. But they used some of the metal from the car to actually create this collectible watch. So this watch I'm about to show you is not just a tchotchke that they licensed the DMC logo and slapped it on there as a collectible for DeLorean fans. No, this is made of an actual car that John Z. DeLorean used to own and drive. Now that's cool. Let's open it up. Okay, here's the watch. This is a little bit of an unboxing of sorts. We'll just kind of get it out of the actual shipping box, as you can see here. Comes in a nice bag. There's a kind of a cardboard box. It's not cardboard, but it's a nice covered laminated box. Okay. Some foam covering here. Oh wow, this is metal. It's like a metal ammo box. It's kind of strange. All right, let's, let me reposition the camera here over my shoulder so you can see exactly what I'm seeing as I open it. Okay, we got uh, a cleaning cloth. Got some kind of stickers here. Okay. I don't know what this is. Um, thanks for buying an REC watch. You can freeze this and record that. Take a read that. Got some, let's see, access your manual. Oh, hey, you can, you can scan that if you want. Look at the manual of the watch. Watch well, metal. Officially licensed product of DMC. Okay. Warranty card. SPX DeLorean. Number 97 of 456. All right. Let's see. This is the watch, I guess. I don't think this lifts up. There's nothing else in there. Notice the gray interior done much like a DeLorean. That's funny. All right. Let's have a look. Here it is. Let's open it up for the first time. Nice leather. Ooh. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. All right, let's um, see how this... Oh, okay. All right, I see now. That's unsnaps. That's interesting. Get it off of here. Okay. So my hands are all beat up. I've been working on stuff. Jeez, sorry. All right, here's a close-up of the watch and should we do the actual peel? Here we go. Oh, there it is. Healed. Set that aside. I might want that later. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Um, I don't know if it's battery powered or if it's a wound watch. I don't even know what I bought here. Did it, is it a mechanical watch? I think it's a mechanical watch. There's more plastic back here. If I could figure out how to open this. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I'm seeing mechanics back there. All right, but 
So do I wind it? Okay, it winds. Let's see if we can operate this. Just pulls out. Ah, yes, very simple. Let me see if I can't do this. There we go, that's what I was looking for. We'll give it the old 10-1 action. 10.04, that's when the clock tower alarm <laughs> lightning goes off. Let's see, the time right now is actually 5.41 uh, uh, here. Let's see, there's no date on this, I don't think, unless I'm blind and I can't see it. Let's see, where, what are we looking for? We're looking for 5.41 here. It's the actual time. Yeah, I don't think there's a date on this. Sorry if I move it around, because I'm looking at the camera and looking at the watch the same time. Let's see how close we can get to that. So you can see that. So interestingly enough, um, there's portions of this is supposed to be made out of the actual DeLorean that John owned. Let me see if I can't get this open. Sorry. There we go. Let's do another peel. Got another peel back here. Because I will actually wear this watch. I'm going to put that down. Let's Let's see the back. Let me zoom in there. So limited to 456. This is number 97 of 456. Waited a long time for this watch. You'll notice the way the, the rubber is done on the strap here. Very much like a interior of a DeLorean. Hmm. So I'm not sure exactly which pieces are part of John's DeLorean or if the whole thing, I, I, I need to find out more. Nice satisfying wind there. Let's see if we can't, how close we can get here. And I don't know if you, it's not like a tourbillon. I don't think you could see the actual movement in there or not, but John DeLorean, oh, John DeLorean's company car with his VIN number interesting okay so there it is ladies and gentlemen all right should we see it on wrist that's always a big thing with the watch guys seeing it on wrist you know i normally wear a rolex submariner or sea dweller like this one let's have a look it's not going to be adjusted exactly oh you know what that's nice it's got a nice uh feel to it i'm not going to strap it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hold it you know what? That's nice. That's a, that's a, that's really nice. You know what? I'm going to wear this watch. I was tempted to just put it in the box and then just stash it forever, but I think I'm going to wear it. I like it. Uh, you know, let me, let me adjust it. Okay. I got a tab I've been fumbling with this thing for five minutes. This is absolutely the most pain in the ass strap I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this is why Rolex is Rolex. Nobody makes a strap better than a Rolex. I mean, this thing is a pain. Look at this. I mean, it's just fumble, 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 fumble. Worst design. REC, you, your straps absolutely suck. <laughs> it's pinching my hair. The watch is great, but this strap blows. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to be on. I mean, Rolex, look, you, you know, I mean, I know they can't copy the glide lock system, all right? That takes two seconds to put this watch on. I've been, fu I fumbled with this thing five minutes off, you know, and it's like, even then still, it's just like, it's, 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 it grabs my hairs, but it looks great. Once you get it on, I mean, you can never really get it completely adjusted the way you want. I have a small wrist, but here it is on the wrist. I know I'm bitching and complaining, but there it is. I think it's a nice looking watch. You know, it has that square look sort of like the Tag Howard's Monaco, you know, a little bit. Um, it's a nice stainless. So I wish they'd have just made a stainless steel strap instead of this, you know, rubber strap this rubber strap sucks i gotta be honest i don't like it it's the only thing that's going to make me not want to wear it you know um i'm you know look i know this is like fifteen thousand dollar rolex i mean this is a glide lock stainless steel watch but i mean you know it's infinitely adjustable and it just you know this is why this is my everyday wear and this is a sea dweller which i'm actually going to be replacing with a regular submariner as a daily because this one's just kind of big you know i have a small wrist i really do um, 
it's a beautiful watch. I just think this strap kind of sucks. I would rather have had a stainless steel strap, you know, like a Jubilee or an Oyster kind of bracelet, you know, like a Rolex or something. Like, it's a lightweight watch. It's thin. Um, but this, I hate rubber straps. I hate them. Look at this. Ugh. And it's pinching the whole time. It's pinching. Pulling my hairs. REC, your straps suck. I'm just telling you right now. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I, I don't know. This is a weird design, so I probably can't just put my own strap on there. So I don't know if they offer, and this is kind of janky. You know, you put your wrist down. This is going to be snagging on stuff. This is going to make me not want to wear the watch. That's my complaint. The legacy is cool. I like the design. The dial is good. I don't know how great the movement is. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a little bit more information, you know, search, researching on it. I think it's a beautiful watch. They just failed on this strap. The strap sucks. Enough complaining. Here it is. Here's the watch. So the watch is cool. I'm not, I'm not really complaining about the watch itself. Look how small my wrist is. It doesn't even fit around the pillow. But little unboxing of the watch of sorts. I guess you would call that an unboxing. This is kind of neat the way this works, I suppose. That's kind of cool. I mean, I guess. None of this is DeLorean related though. I mean, there's no snaps or anything that works. I, I suppose this is sort of like a gold wing door. They might've failed in that respect. They could have had some sort of, I mean, I guess that's a gold wing, I guess. But the snaps and the leather, like it would have been cool if they had maybe simulated, cause they, they have, you know, DeLorean Motor Company sells uh, replacement seats. They could have used like that leather the same leather. I don't know. They could have done it a little bit more DeLorean-y, if that's a word. A little bit more DeLorean-esque. Um, you know, I don't, I don't understand the metal claspy, like it's like a gun box, which doesn't suck. Maybe this is what they use for all their watches. I'm not familiar with their watches. Um, but, you know, it's just... I, I would have expected something a little bit more uh, DeLorean. I guess is the word, if that's a thing, you know, like a, some kind of a, you know, like a go wing kind of box or something. I don't know. I'm a dork. So I'm just going to put all this stuff in here. I'm going to put it all back. I don't really understand what this stuff is about. I'll find out more about it, but I'm just, for now, I'm going to keep it in there. Uh, sorry if I'm being bitchy and complaining. I, I like the watch. I just, I don't like the strap. I've always liked steel bracelets. I know Steven and James are watching this like, uh, uh, Bob, shut up. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Steven. I love Steven. Um, you know, listen, here's the deal. No matter what I complain about the strap of this thing, if you're a fan of the DeLorean, if you're a fan of the legacy of the DeLorean, even though I'm like, I'm like Dr. Mangala of DeLoreans. I have made 46 DeLorean time machines so far including the one that you see at Universal Studios in Orlando. And so, you know, I'm a guy who, you know, Stephen Wynn was at my shop not that long ago, picking up some parts because I had a bunch of DeLorean parts I wanted to make sure went back to the factory so they could be reused whenever we take things off of the DeLoreans for building the time machines. Just keep in mind, for those of you that are purists who love the DeLorean, they made like over 9,000 of these cars. I'd say less, maybe 1% of the cars manufactured have been converted and turned into time machines and other cars. Maybe less than 2% of them in total have been modified in some way. And here's one more. This VIN number was John DeLorean's own personal car that was a company car. You know, the company, whenever you work for a company and you're the CEO and owner of the company, you're going to get yourself cars issued to you uh, for you to test out, use for press. Uh, you know, it's like if you own a car company, if you're John DeLorean, your name is embossed on the back bumper of the car. You don't want to be seen driving around in your competition's car, or a Cadillac or a Lincoln or something. You should be seen getting out of your own car. And that's what this was. This was a car that John DeLorean used to actually drive. And that is so cool. Now it's so sad that it got lost in time. You know, when, you know, he went through his trial, uh, the car company got shut down. A company called uh, Consolidated International took over all the parts, which is basically big lots. You know, they go in and they buy up, you know, 
big lots of stuff like DeLorean factories, like it could have been anything, right? And so this car was just one of those cars that got lost in the shuffle. Somebody owned it. It ended up in Florida. It ended up in hail damage, got left in a field, like so many DeLoreans do, unfortunately. Because the DeLorean skin, the stainless steel, once it gets dinged and pinged, you can't fix it very easily. It can be fixed, but it's not like a regular car where you just bondo over it and you do painless dent repair. So you're stuck with it. So they decided, which I think rightly so, to make this cool collectible out of pieces of the car. So if you, I'll put a direct link in this. I don't know if there's any of them left. They only made less than 500 of them. What, what, what did it say on the card? It was like 496, 456. This is number 97 of uh, 456. So it uh, comes with a 36 month warranty. That's interesting. And so, um, and Stephen Wynn's signature on there. I'm sorry, Stephen. I'm, I'm sorry I was complaining about your strap. You know, I'm spoiled. I'm a Rolex guy. I've always been a Rolex guy. I've tried a lot of different other watches. The only other watch I'm really looking for is I'd like to have an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. Uh, but there's a two-year waiting list to get one. And uh, I've just always worn, you know, a Rolex Submariner. And almost every single day of my life, when I worked on those DeLoreans out there, building those time machines, I was wearing a Rolex Submariner. It's just the most um, stout, indestructible watch you can have. I mean, that's, you can't hurt one of these things, you know, but it's a Rolex. It's hard to compare Rolex to, you know, this is a nice affordable watch. This is a watch that every person can afford. If you can't afford a DeLorean, which is now selling for upwards of a hundred thousand dollars, you can afford one of these watches. They're still a little pricey for collectible watches, but again, this is not just some licensed watch where they stuck a logo on it. It's made out of not only a DeLorean, but of John DeLorean's DeLorean. So, Hey, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for hanging out with me. You know what? As I'm wearing it, I'm, it's so lightweight compared to this, this thing. This thing's a brick. Uh, it's a lightweight watch. And um, it seems to be ticking okay. It's working. Uh, much unlike my DeLorean. <laughs> yes, I went there. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how well it goes. Steven's like choking like the TV, right? He's got his phone. He's like... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Steve and James, all the people at DeLorean Motor Company and all the DeLorean fans out there. Thank you so much. I love my new watch. When I see you at the next DeLorean convention, I'll be wearing it. So thanks for tuning in. Hey, if you like content about the DeLorean and the DeLorean Time Machine and Back to the Future and you stumbled across this video, check out my other videos. We build the DeLorean Time Machine and a lot of other cool movie cars. And I like to do uh, luxury items. We talk about the Rolls Royce. Uh, different watches, all kinds of fun stuff. It's a really, the channel is really all over the place. It's just whatever I'm doing that day. And today it's my DeLorean watch. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Video Bob. Mm -hmm.